Hello, good afternoon. I am your host as always, Lucha FM, bringing you some Fight Club Pro local to global goodness for TEW 2020. And I just want to say, first of all, thank you to the people who continually watch the videos. Much appreciated. I get more love from the TEW 2020 community than I do from the Football Manager community, for instance. So it's very much appreciated. The you know my watch hours on YouTube. For people who don't know, watch hours is basically the the amount of time people who are spending watching your videos, views, and etc. are a lot better for the TW 2020 stuff than it is for my football manager stuff. Even though it's a small community, but we look out for each other. So thank you to the people who've been watching so far. I really do appreciate it. And if you if you like to continue watching, I would appreciate that as well. Also, as well, I have started putting well for. For weeks now, I have started putting wrestling quizzes on there, short little quiz videos. So if you're bored and you want to watch a quick video for like 50 seconds each one, then have a look on my YouTube channel, Lucha FM, and I've got a load of different little videos. I am using AI software for that, so sometimes it's a bit flawed. It doesn't give me the right answer or it might repeat the questions. So some of the first, some of the early videos I've done using the AI software, they might be a bit bad but i am now the last couple of times i've been posting on there i have been double checking before i post them on there to make sure the questions and answers are right and it doesn't repeat the same questions over and over again so yeah so it's just teething problems with the ai software i'm using but you just bear with us but anyway i'll be back in a minute with the first show called death machine so i'm thinking maybe as it's called death machine i might end the show with a death match just to change it up a bit so yeah so we'll see anyway i'll be back in a minute All right we're back. So basically what I've decided to do is just, instead of just sticking to British to get our popularity up elsewhere for us to advance, I've decided to just bring in any anyone, any wrestler from around the world that I like the look of, just to boost the women's and men's division. So if we just go women's first, and so I've brought in Abaddon, Abaddon, sorry, I brought in Aja Kong, who I'm going to try to convince to, no, she won't, so... I'm going to have her as a road agent instead. Alex Windsor brought in. Alpha Female I brought in, but she doesn't want to be a wrestler, so it will be a road agent. I've got Angelina Love. I'm going to change her alter ego. That's that. So I'm going to see if she'll come out of retirement. She won't, so I'll just try and have her as a road agent. I think that's it for her. Bobby, no, no, Bobby Tyler's already there. Candice LeRae, I need to... How the hell do I do it? I can't remember. Oh, that was it, yeah. I need to just give her a photo I don't like them when they don't have photos. There we go, that'll do. Then I've got Candice LeRae here, who actually has wrestled in real life for Fight Club Pro a few times in the past because I have seen her live. And then we've got Chili and Melissa, I think, is a road agent because she is retired. Fortunately, I need to see if I can talk to her. No, she won't. will be, she's happy to be a road agent, so that will help in some way anyway. Who else? Brought this, what, this wrestler in, Heidi Katrina, who has good overall skills. I think she'll add to the division. We've brought in Holly Dead, Ivelisse as well. So that'll boost the women's division, give Ginny some competition. Katrina Walter, who is for the winter, that's a TNA wrestler. I think she's only, yeah, she won't be a wrestler, but I will have her as a road agent, which will help. I need to go back up here, don't I? Chris Wolf as well, who is a, will probably be a road agent because I can't imagine she wants to come out of retirement. No. Oh, she doesn't want to be a road agent on Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of her because she's just going to be, oh, I can't. I'll get rid of her late afterwards. Mackie, uh, Mackie. Let's have a look. There you go, road agent. So hopefully she'll help in creating some good matches. Brought this woman's wrestler in, Mary Apache, because she has good overall skills. I'm going to see if she'll be a road agent as well. She's still a wrestler, so that's good. So we can still have her. Bit. Miko Mora, hoping I can get her as a, a wrestle, but no, she won't. Oh, she won't even do that either. Will she let me take over? Nah. So that was pointless, so I'm hiring her, because she can't wrestle and she can't even be a road agent, so I have to get rid of her as well, I think. No point having her, she's not going to do anything. Yeah, Nicole... Matthews are brought in as well. Nikki Rocks, who is probably going to be a road agent by the looks of it, because I don't think she wants to come out of retirement. There you go, road agent. ODB, she won't come out of retirement either. I was hoping to, when I hired all these, I was hoping to convince them to come out of retirement. Sue Young, Trisha Dora, who I need to give a photo to. Trisha Dora, you got her eye as well. She was a free agent, so I managed to get her in. Weston Bush, who is... 
probably going to be a road agent. But she's already a road agent anyway. So that's fine. And then on the men's side, do that male. So two cold Scorpio, Abyss. I think Abyss is actually he's going to be a road agent. He doesn't want to wrestle, unfortunately. Adam Brooks, Noi Jr., who I'm going to team up with, Sin Snooker at some point. I've just got to think about what tag team names to call them. A Kid, who obviously NXT fans will know as Axiom. The Angels, who was in the Dark Order. You know, Alex Kozlov, who was in Florida Championship Wrestling, maybe NXT when it first started. But yeah, he was pretty good back in the day. Amazing Red, literally every wrestler you see today has probably copied something from Amazing Red. He's just amazing, hence the name Amazing Red. Andrew Everett, Barry Griffiths, who was known as Mason Ryan in WWE. I'm going to have him and Rob Terry as a big monster tag team. I just need to get back to being a more quicker way to do this. There we go. God's sake. Why doesn't it never happen? Why does it never work what you want to do? BT, Big T Justice and Blue K as a tag team, monster tag team, to be honest. Bob Holly, see, we all know as Hardcore Holly. That'll, he is going to be probably a road agent because I don't, I think he's retired and he doesn't want to come back into wrestling. So, Bret Hart, but obviously, Bret Hart is going to be a road agent. I've got a commentator and occasional manager. Calvin Tank, I brought in a big, big, Big guy, big meaty man. We like big meaty men here. Captain Sexy was a recommendation from the Scouts ages ago, so I decided to sign him up, see how he gets on. Tara Noir, progress regular, has a unique character. You've got Charlie Dempsey, William Regal's son, so I just need to do that. There you go. He'll be a good addition. He's a good character as well. Chris Hero, we all know about Chris Mordecai, Modeski, whatever his name is. Obviously, Chris Masters, we know him as, so we'll call him Chris Masters. And then I'm going to get rid of him because he's not really adding much to get rid of him afterwards. Chris Saban, we all know about Chris Saban. Unfortunately, Alex Shelley wasn't available for us, so I'd assign him as well. Crazy Sexy Mike, some of the scouts recommended. Damien Sandow as well, brought in former, I brought in quite a few former WWE wrestlers like D'Angelo De Niro. Well, I'll keep going down here. This one's controversial, David ben Benoit. I'm going to put him in the Heart Foundation group, whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called now. He's going to go with Thomas Billington. And actually, I'm thinking of maybe starting a new stable with David Benoit, Thomas Billington, and OJ Hart. Break away from the British Empire. So I'm thinking of doing that at some point soon. El Fantasmo, who actually did wrestle few times fight good pro back in the day eric redbeard who we know as eric rowan so we're just going to load that up who else all right hacky and wagner was a scout recommendation so brought him in and bravado we know as adam chase but for some reason it won't let me load up. alternative e ego whatever they call it gimmick oh, sorry man um, i've been recording quite a bit today so i'm all over the place i do apologize jack evans i brought in jack jester i brought in sorry my nose all bunged up as well don't know james drake but unfortunately zach gibson wasn't available james mariotto little guido who will probably be a road agent manager and also be a color commentator and referee as well so he's a good one to have i'm just gonna see if i can talk him into it he won't do it okay will he be a road agent then yeah, that's fine. The more road agents you have, the better, because some of them will be really good. James Mason, I think I've already talked about. Jigsaw, obviously, from Shikara, TNA and stuff like that. He's a good high flyer. Jody Fly, we all know about him. Johnny Storm as well, down here. Johnny Moss are brought in. Johnny Storm, I think Johnny Moss is a road agent. Uh, yeah, I think he's a road agent for NXT, actually, in real life. But yeah, Johnny Storm couldn't convince him to come out of retirement, so he's going to be a road agent. And he can also be a club commentator, which will help as well. And then another one, the scouts recommended, Carsten, Carsten Beck. Give us a bit of a European feel. Kelly Six I brought in as well, who's pretty good on the UK and DC. There you go. Ken Shamrock I've managed to convince, but... He is not going to be here as a wrestler, unfortunately, unless I can convince him otherwise. So I'm hoping he'll just be a road agent now. And Kelly, sorry, Kenny Dog, who we know as Kenny. Pete Cash I brought in as a road agent because he didn't want to come out of retirement. Such a shame. He used to be able to convince Arthur that he's in other, in other saves I've done. This one's a big one for me, Levi Moore. So a few years ago, I did a Fight Club Pro diary on the Grey Dog software forums and... He was my main guy. I had him in the stable, pushed him hard. He was in NXT UK for a bit, but unfortunately, they obviously, when they dissolved uh, NXT UK, they didn't bring him over to 
NXT America, so I'm hoping to push him. Lewis Howley, who we, who we know as, oh, I can't remember what is it, Eaton Prince in it or something like that. Elton Prince, sorry. So he's going to, I've got him and the other one, so they're going to be a tag team. I don't remember what they're bloody called now. Everybody's screaming at the screen now. Oh, for God's sake, I pressed the wrong thing. Where, how do, where's his profile? Why can't I click on his profile? Well, usually it lets you click on the profile, doesn't it? Is it that one? There we go. I'm so stupid. Yeah, so... Sammy Smooth as uh, Pretty Deadly. I will put them as their WWE names offline after this. So they'll be called Elton Prince, and I can't remember what the other one's called now. Hit Wilson, in it. Oh, there we go. I can do it now, actually. Elton Prince. There you go. And then with Sammy Smooth. Swap him over now. There we go. That's Kit Wilson. Just going to change his name. Wilson. That's that done. Right. So go back up here. Oh, I can't remember how far we went back now. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So down here now no no he's already been on here martin stone marty Janetti, who i think is going to be a road agent because he doesn't want to wrestle anymore and he can't wrestle anymore because he's got good ankles matt cross who i'm going to have uh i wanted to have him as son of havoc got the gimmick available so matt falco who was uh i just like the fact that he had all these belts and he's got pretty good attributes so matt seidel so that's a, a good wrestler to have against kenny williams for instance Mike Bucci, who we all know as Nova. I'm just going to call this Supernova. No, we'll call him Hollywood Nova. There you go, Hollywood Nova. Supernova. Nova was a really good, in innovative wrestler in ECW. He would invent a move, like a really cool move, and then wrestlers from WWE and WW, uh, WCW, sorry, copied him all the time. So he was very innovative for his time back in the day. Let's go down here a bit now. Who else? Who else? Mr. Anderson. We all know about him. Nick Dinsmore. Have him as Eugene, good little character for the kids, even though it's very offensive. The gim the gimmick itself. Let's keep going down here. Norman Smiley, good road agent. This guy here was decent attributes, so I hired him for that reason. Paul London, we all know about him. He had good attributes as well, so I brought him in, trying to get some international wrestlers in, some European wrestlers in from Germany and Austria and places. Rampage Brown, we all know about him. NXT UK, Progress other places like that i wanted to have him as the johnny stumble him and i wanted to have him and greedo together but not are wanting to go out of retirement so they'll just be road agents i think and like i said johnny storm we've already talked about justin gable we've already talked about. oh sorry i'm going the wrong way all right let's just keep going down here i'm sorry if this is a bit boring it's starting to bore me to be honest <laughs> ricky marvin brought him in rob terry was already mentioned robbie brooks i've brought in as a road agent Storm Waltman, we all know as X Park, he will be brought in as a road agent. I think he wants to wrestle. You can ask him, but I don't think he will. Nope, we'll work our way up. Tajiri, brought in Tajiri because who doesn't love Tajiri? Brought in Kanemura, who was a great light heavyweight wrestler from Japan over the years. Koz Kozlov, brought Vito, who again doesn't want to wrestle. So, like I said, I was planning to have. The full blooded Italians in. We've got this guy here, Vincent, we all know from Ring of Honor, recently Ring of Honor, and Aid. He'll be a good addition as well. Spooky character. Vampire Warrior, but we all know him as Gangrel, so better give him that off. He doesn't want to be a wrestler, annoyingly, so probably just have to have him as road agent. So I'm going to have loads of road agents by the looks of it. Yeah. Trevor Murdoch, I brought in. Tom Lawler. DJ Wilson, who's a road agent, even though I Try to get him to come out of retirement, but he won't, annoyingly. Would have loved to have him on the roster. Thomas Lefufu, who I remember from Florida Championship Wrestling. Pretty good French wrestler. Sandman, we all know about him. He'll probably be a colour commentator for me. See if he'll... Every single one refuses to go up, come out for another run. Tatanka, somebody else I wanted to bring in as the occasional wrestler. Won't wrestle. At least Super Crazy will wrestle. I'm going to have Super Crazy as a road agent as well, because I think he'd make a really good road agent. And Sunjay Dutt as well, who will who is a wrestler and a road agent and a colour commentator. So that, and then we've got Sim Sucker, Simon Grimm, Psychedelico Jr., Sean Dean, who wrestles for AW Ring of Honor. I'd like to have them have photos. Sean Davari, Shannon Moore, Jane Haste, Seven Fawn, who we know as mostly is Mordecai there you go I think that's it yeah because I think I went the other way didn't I? yeah so that's that sorry for that that dragged on a bit didn't it right let's book the next show okay so we're gonna have a tag team match yeah so this is the dream tag team invitational but I'm not gonna do it as a tournament I'm just gonna do random tag team matches with the wrestlers that I have available to me or I might just do use the tag teams that we've got we'll do mail and we'll see who we've got I'll just see if it's worth doing that probably not I'll probably have the main event though as the new element versus scum 
which I did at the last show. That was a pretty good show. Oh, there we go. We can do Generation next. Let's have a look. Pretty deadly. There you go. That'd be a good match. So we've got that as a tag team match. That's that one. And then we'll do another tag team match. Do that one. Legion of Boom. No, I won't do that. The Brothers, Face of Fear. Contenders. We do the Contenders. Do them versus Pop, maybe? No. There we go. Los Maquitos. Do that. And then we'll do a main event. And then what we'll figure out. We'll do some angles. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. So it'll be Joseph Connors. Kenny. Got to be careful with that one. There's more than one Kenny. Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster. 25 minutes. We'll put the tag titles on the line. Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster retain it. Won't do storytelling because that didn't work out. I don't think that worked out well when I did it in the other. Should do steal the show? There goes Baxter, my dog, going upstairs. Because I've had to sort him out in a minute because I worry whenever he goes upstairs, he does his business up there on my bloody carpet. Right, so there's that. Right, so we just need to do some angles now. So we'll do Kenny Williams. Oh, for God's sake, Joseph Connors, Morgan Webster, and Mark Andrews. Do that. We'll just do a random Mr. Anderson microphone just to boost that up about there. That's there. Oh god, my nose is proper bunged up all of a sudden. Do another angle. Who's wrestling again? Contenders, Olsen Twins, Woke Queens, Generation. Okay. So we do Matt Seidel, Jack Evans, and then oh, Elton Prince, Kit Wilson. Sorry if this one's all over the place, everyone. I do apologise. Just getting distracted and been doing a lot of video recording today. Right, let's just oh, sorry about that. Move my legs a bit now. Right, so currently in the limits of the time period, we've got 75% matches, 84, sorry, so we're not going to penalise. Right, let's start the show. The angle with Pretty Deadly Generation Next 3 did really well. 34 rating for the angle, which ain't too bad at all. Kit Wilson could have done, would have done, could have done better being on script. Match itself got a 64 rating. Matt, Jack Evans got a 64 and that side out only got 49. That's ridiculous. Alan Prince was the best in ring performer in that match. As a road agent, Winter probably should have done a better job putting the match together. Okay, that's good to know for future reference. So the other tag team match, which was the contenders versus Los Mackey. The contenders won and that got a 57 rate. And I think that's about it really. Who's the best in ring performer? Kelly Six got a 76 rating. Ricky Marvin only got a 23. Super Crazy only got a 28 as well, which is a bit of a shame. The tag team match with the Owen Twins versus the Woke Queens. The Owen Twins won. Got a 65 rating. Casey Owens got a 68. Right. Valkyrie got a 66. They were the best in ring performers there. Mr. Anderson, microphone angle, got a 56, which is probably one of the best angles we've had so far. 63 for the angle with the the main event of the new element the new element versus scum. Mark Andrews could have been on script. Got a 63 rating, which is really good. 80. We haven't had an 80 rated match in since the first show when Kenny Williams. That's really good. Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams showed excellent chemistry together. See if the announcing was better and we shortened the match a bit because of the all-out pace as well. So what we do next time is still the show. We'll do it at maybe 22 minutes. We'll put a different announcer on and hopefully we can have somebody better. But 80 still really good. Kenny Williams, Mark Andrews, Morgan Webster. There you go. Happy days. I forgot to look at the rest of the show, so I didn't even know. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I should have looked at it first. I'll have a look at show history. I don't know what the attendance was. I don't know. I know we increased. I've seen the corner of my eye that we increased the... Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what the show right there. There Right, show history, where are you? Show history, there we go. So we got 107 attendance, which is the best attendance we've ever had. We got a 72 show rating, which was really good. The show achieved 0.01 TV rating. We got 7,301 free viewers. So yeah, so we did really well there. It was a really good show. Sorry, a really good show to end the episode on. We got 99% momentum, 5% prestige. We got 204 thousand so what i'm going to do is merchandise i'm going to up the merch again i'm going to keep up, up with it all right so we're just going to up it after every show as long as the money's all right we can do it because eventually it will help let's have a look at the finances quickly see if there's any, if that last show made any difference there we go so this month we are minus 30 grand performance so we are paying a lot more now so that's something we've got to be aware of. Ticket sales, 960. Broadcast revenue was 732. Sponsors, 2,198. Merchandise was 171. But this is only part of the month. So 
got a couple of weeks yet. 15 grand we spent on the workers, three grand for the show costs, 75 for marketing, 11 for production, three grand for media. Uh, let's have a look at the financial estimates. Estimated sponsorship income was 9,700, sorry, 9,072 a month. Expenditure is 75 for production, production sorry six and a half for production your marketing and miscellaneous costs are based on the size of the company that's fine monthly wage bill the figure is adding blah, blah. so I, we'll have a look at that more later on but right anyway i'll be back on sunday let's just quickly look at this jack evans they want another wrestler with shapers maybe i'll put blue cane and shapers together as a tag team i think that'd be quite a funny tag team in a way but yeah i think that's what i might do actually before i forget to do that now i know i'll probably forget later on glue cane shaper so, right, so let's have a look there you go kamikaze should have called it kanakaze i might change it to kanakaze right on that note i'm off i'm sorry if it was a bit off the pace at times probably just because i'm a bit sloppy because i haven't done it since last week tw is a lot harder to record videos for as you can see on this screen that you're looking at now i need to Ban me. There we go. Right, there we go. Yeah, as I was saying, it's a lot harder to record and stream TW content. By the way, this is not my wall, it's not falling, it's a backdrop. Yeah, it's a lot harder to do content for TW 2020 because of the software they use to create the game. So it just makes it a bit more difficult to do it. But getting the hang of it now, I'm doing it. It's a lot better now. I figured out how to do it where I don't have to keep adding screens all the time to the software that I used to record. So yeah, so hopefully. Like I said, we're getting there slowly but surely, progressing with Fight Club Pro. And thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. And just keep bear with us. I, I, the next episode I do will be a lot better, a lot more not all over the place. So I've just got a few personal things going on as well. So I'm a bit distracted. And I've got the dog to keep constantly watching all the time because he's a little bugger and he keeps chewing everything now. He's going through that teenager stage already. So anyway, thank you as always. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back Sunday. Bye.